1968 D. Kennedy half dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to NGC, with the coin shortage officially over, Mint marks were restored to the nation's coinage commencing with 1968's production. The Denver Mint continued on as the sole provider of half dollars for circulation, and its D. Mint mark was now prominently displayed on the obverse at the truncation of Kennedy's neck. This issue is very common in mint state up through the grade of MS-66, with finer pieces being quite rare. This MS-67 gem fetched a sum of $660. Number 7. Vividly Tone 1951S Roosevelt Dime. Graded in mint state 68 full bands by PCGS. Full bands refers to the level of detail and definition present on the horizontal lines or bands on the torch design found on the reverse, tail side of the dime. These bands are part of the torch that is depicted on the dime, and the term full bands is often used by coin collectors and numismatists to describe dimes where these bands are well-defined and fully separated. This 90% silver gem with full bands ended up selling for $810. Number 6. 1925s Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 63 red and brown by PCGS. Despite a fairly substantial mintage, 1925 S cents of desirable quality are quite scarce. Worn examples are quite common from widespread hoarding during the 1930s 50s, and mint state pieces of so so quality are likewise available. Fully red gems are very rare and tend to be much darker in shade than Philadelphia mint cents. This is highly sought after error variety with repunched S over S. It was sold for $1,320. Number 5. 1936 Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to NGC, not since the wartime year of 1917 had so many half dollars been coined, and this was a sign of increased economic activity following the grim years of 1930-33. Well-struck examples of the 1936 half dollar are readily available, as are gems through the grade of MS-66. Coins grading higher are in lesser supply but enough have been certified to satisfy the demand from advanced collectors. This half dollar ended up selling for $1,380. Number 4. 1920D Lincoln sent in MS-65 plus red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, despite a substantial mintage of more than 49 million pieces, the 1920D Lincoln sent is a scarce issue at the MS-65 grade level, and finer coins are prime condition rarities. This plus graded gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and the well-preserved original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster from both sides. I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $3,480. Number 3. This is 1960 Jefferson Nickel in PR69 deep cameo condition. According to Stax Bowers, Stunning top of the pop ultra gem quality for this otherwise readily obtainable proof Jefferson nickel issue. Exceptionally well preserved and virtually pristine, the surfaces are untoned to allow full appreciation of strong field to device contrast. It was sold for $4,560. Number 2. 1922D Lincoln sent in MS66 plus red condition. Only the Denver Mint struck sense in 1922 producing 7.16 million coins, a moderately low mintage for the series, even at this early date. Full red examples are scarce in gem or better condition, and they are rare in MS-66. This plus designated piece is tied for finest known. Sharp devices complement satiny copper orange luster, with no obvious abrasions. A faint fleck appears near the lower left curve of the C and scent, but the rest of the coin is virtually unblemished. I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $26,400. Number 1. 1944D Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 68 Full Steps by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, as perfect as a specialist could hope to find, with radiant mint luster throughout and a towering strike for this late issue war nickel. These super gems boast incredible eye appeal with delicate iridescent toning of violet, rose, and lemon traces when closely examined with the toning on the devices while the surrounding fields are satiny silver white. The surfaces are the key factor here, nudging close to absolute perfection with just a few minute signs of handling. This superb gem fetched a sum of $22,325. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content.
Have a good one.